Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good today. Uh, just gonna take a little bit of time today and sort of go over one of the most important um, things that I carry in the boat with me. And that is sort of like my uh, my little box of, of, uh, of odds and ends that contribute to helping me catch more fish and making uh, my time on the water a little bit more efficient. And um, you know, here it is. So I'm gonna go through the box and I'm gonna show you everything that I've got in it. Um, this is something that I've, uh, it's, it's sort of accumulation of, of um, all my years of fishing as far as uh, things that I get, when I get on the water, things that I could possibly need as far as um, that you may or may not need every day, but, but they play a big role at some point uh, throughout the year all the time. And um, it's sort of like a, a good box for everybody to carry in there, even if you're a, a non-tournament fisherman. Um, it sort of helps out, but what I want to do is I'm going to go through the box here. I'm going to sort of show you what I got in it um, and sort of explain to you why I, I have what I have in it. Um, the first thing I have in here you'll notice is a uh, fingernail polish, and I have a lot of it. I've got, let's see, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine different colors of fingernail polish in this in this box here that comes in the boat with me every every tournament and the reason i do this is for uh, color modifications um, whether it be from drawing gills to 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 coloring bellies to you know giving jig heads a little bit different lick um, fingernail polish is an excellent tool to, uh, to modify on the water colors and it stays good it doesn't chip off very well it's pretty it's pretty resistant so carry a big selection of, of fingernail polish. Uh, second to that is, is my dyes. I carry um, a lot of different colors of dyes. I've got black chartreuse, red, orange, blue, um, a lot of different colors um, of dyes for my soft plastics. Because a lot of times, um, I'll, even though I'll keep my, say my jig and spinnerbait colors uh, fairly simple, a lot of times my trailers I'll modify with colors. Uh, particularly based upon the forage color, crawfish or whatever, and uh, dyes really allow you to do that. And another thing that dyes do, which a lot of people don't use them for, is they are a great tool to, um, to actually color or modify the color of hard bait. And one, one of the, another thing I keep in here is a little toothbrush um, in, in the box too, because what I do is I'll take this toothbrush and I'll dip it in the dyes and then I can color the side of some of my hard baits too and it gives it sort of a different look so it's a little different modification uh, so that's my color stuff there um, I also got spray dyes a lot of different spray dyes uh, sometimes I like spray dyes because the application is a little bit different for example when you're dying like a tail of a plastic worm if you dip that tail versus spraying that tail it gives it a little bit different look uh, that I really prefer a spray dye because it gives sort of that bleeding effect a little bit to the colors so I really like that but anyway some other stuff here you know good got a good sunscreen a good all-natural sunscreen very important um, I've got several different types of uh, tools as far as not not my boat tools that go on my boat but these are tools for like uh, uh, fishing tools. I got side cutters for clipping hooks and that type of stuff. I got several pairs of you know needle nose pliers. Needle nose pliers are one of the most important things for any angler to carry in the boat. With them. Um, just so much you can do with the chain split rings, you know, cut line, whatever. Um, you always want a pair of scissors, scissors in there. I use this a lot for cutting either braided line or I'll cut skirt material with it. Spinnerbait skirts, jig skirts. Um, got a hook sharpener, even though I don't use it much anymore. Um, you know, I use all Gamagatsu hooks and their needle, their needle chemically sharpened. You don't ever use this too much, um, but once in a while I'll find a place for it in there. Um, always carry a knife in there. Mainly I use this for cutting apples, eating during the day, but you know, never know when you're gonna have to cut your way out of a trot line or whatever. Electrical tape for on the water repairs. Uh, very handy to always keep electrical tape and some duct tape in the boat with you. Um, super glue. I've got several sticks of super glue in here and I use that for uh, a lot of different things, primarily for uh, securing uh, soft plastics to jig heads. That's a, that's a big thing for it, but also use it for uh, gluing lead strips on the jerk baits and that type of stuff. Um, I've got some more dye pins in here. Um, I've got several different colors of dye pins, orange, red, chartreuses. 
Again, uh, a dye pen will allow a little bit more precise uh, application of color, which is good. Um, couple more, let's see, a couple more pliers in there. Um, always carry a lighter with me in case you never know when you're going to have to spend the night on the bank somewhere. And you, you, it's even though I know how to make a bow drill fire, it's always like a uh, lighter to make it a little bit easier. <laughs> carry a heavy duty file on the boat in the uh, box too and a lot of times this is for lure modifications if I want to take some finish off a of bait if I want to take the paint down to the bare finish I can use this um, just a lot of different a lot of different applications for it a um, little bit of lube in there but you know for my reels uh, squeaky parts uh, pliers whatever comes along with me um, scents you know, I'm a pretty big believer in scent. Um, I use a lot of different types of scent. Um, I don't know if it really matters that much as far as the brand or the type that you use, but one of the things I like in it is when I'm fishing slow, um, you know, worm fishing, flipping, that type of stuff. If I'm, if I'm pretty dialed into a bite, you know, I'll, I'll have scent on it fairly heavily. And I think it makes a difference. I've seen, I've seen at times where that can make a little bit of difference. Um, got my uh, Brillo pad in here. Now I use this Brillo pad for, uh, you know, roughing up finishes on lures, uh, you know, that type of stuff. It sort of gives it, uh, you know, gives it a little bit more natural look. Um, I've got some colon beans in here and, and I've got some, uh, you know, my, some of my uh, coal uh, markers, which I don't like to use. I, and I never have until this year. The, this, the only reason I'm using them this year is I've got that, um, the, I'm running the Ranger Aluminum it's got one well, so I'm having to mark my fish separate from my partners, but uh, normally I don't like to mark my fish. Um, I don't like that added stress on them of the buoys that puts on them, which it does, even the, even the clip-ons. But anyway, that's my box. Um, like I said, it goes in the boat with me every tournament. Um, it's This is one thing that, like I said, I, I use it almost every single day that I'm on the water. And I, you know, I'd highly recommend you know, putting together something like this, some, some dyes, some colors, some polish, some pliers, keep it in a central location because I'm in this thing a lot when I'm fishing. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and um, hope it helps out. And I, I think it's probably gonna add up to uh, making your time in the water a little bit more efficient if you give it a try. But anyway, once again, I appreciate every, everybody subscribing to the channel. Um, and, you know, I'm really trying, you know, my best to grow this thing as fast as I can. Um, it's uh, right now, I think I've got uh, 750 some subscribers and um, you have to get to a thousand subscribers with YouTube in order to start taking advantage of some other programs there. So I'm really working on that and you know, I help, I, I really appreciate those who have subscribed and I invite everyone that hasn't to do so if you haven't. But anyway, thanks for checking in. Please shoot me some comments. If you'd like to see some videos, like like some commentary on me to do something, I, I love doing that. Um, shoot me a comment and we'll do everything I can to, to put them together. So I'll tell you later. See you.